Good afternoon. Hope everybody is well, as um, probably anyone who's been watching my videos knows that I'm doing back to backs at the moment. Um, this video is um, a deck that I got this Christmas and it is a, a beautiful deck and I showed it on one of my previous videos where uh, I just showed everything I got. And I don't want to really get into doing a lot of unboxings or walkthroughs because for me there are a lot out there that do them very well and I don't feel that I can give you a good um, interpretation of a deck until I've actually worked with it. Um, not that I'm any expert, <laughs> quite the opposite, um, but for me there really are enough other people doing some really good walkthroughs and um, I'm not going to venture into that that often but I got excited about a few and I just wanted to go through them because they came for Christmas and one of them was um, a deck that, that uh, Brian made me do it. Uh, uh, I was watching his channel and he showed the 81 um, Courier the Magician's Tarot. Now I know this has been out for a while and in fact I think this is the second edition. Um, my husband went on to the website and ordered it. They were lovely, they came back very quickly, um, confirmed that the book came with this deck and that um, we got a lovely signed copy by Josephine McCarthy who is one of the creators. Um, I have not done anything so far uh, other than get it out and go ooh ah as you do. Um, so I'm just going to give you a little bit of it. The, the introduction starts with a quote from Plato. The soul takes nothing with her to the next world but her education and her culture. At the beginning of the journey to the next world, one's education and culture can either provide the greatest assistance or else act as the greatest burden to the person who has just died. 81 Quiria the Magician's Deck is a unique magical tool for 21st century magicians. The deck has 81 cards, a mystical number that relates to completion, and it is divided into four realms. The divine realm, red borders, the inner realm, blue borders, the physical world, green borders, and the realm of death and the underworld, black borders. Cards which belong to two realms, or which are bridges between two realms, have borders containing both colours. The Magician's deck is not based on any tarot system, but rather it draws on the mystic, mythical, um, the mythic, mystical and magical powers that underpin the magical system from which tarot eventually developed. So straight away, here I am with a new deck that has not got a tarot based system, which is fine. So. Um, not quite sure where this is going to come into play, whether it will work alongside the Marseille study that I'm doing. Um, but it's I've now started my journaling and I know where I'm going to sort of put things in. So it may not happen straight away, but I'm going to take just walk you through the cards. There are other walkthroughs, um, but this is mine. So I don't know how well the cards are going to show. Um, holder of the light here. I seem to might have them. Oh, I don't know. If I've got them in. I'm going to have to go through them quietly on my own. But the, for me, a, a lot of times I'm drawn to artwork. Is that going to be? Where are you getting the? Maybe there. Abyss. And for me, this. This deck was one of the, I'm sorry, um, I'm out of sync with the laptop for some reason, which I haven't been up until now, so I'm a little bit off kilter. But it was the artwork that drew me in, and um, the love of cards, the love of artwork, the love of people's creation, um, is very much what draws me into whether 
I want to buy something. And like so many, I'm doing the depth here. And I'm very glad that I am. <laughs> so it's my husband's credit card. <laughs> um, because I, I only came to the whole tarot system in April and the the thing that hit me first was that I was a collector so I'm just going to move I've kept it wrapped in bubble wrap and it's catching on my shawl and I only came to this in April and it has been a whirlwind romance um, only close to my relationship with my husband when we first got together. It's passionate, it's intense, it's full on, it's overwhelming. Uh, it, it's just taken everything. Um, and sometimes I get drawn back into the real world and it's like, it's quite good because I, I am, you know, I'm a mum of four and I have got responsibilities and I am a grandmother. Um, and so it's nice they are my grounding, but equally it's nice to have somewhere that I can now, uh, as I en enter the crone period in my life, where I can actually spend some time on my inner self. So having only come to Tarot since April, I spent quite a lot of time buying decks and felt very much more of a collector than a, a reader because I didn't have any prior um, uh, education in learning to read the tarot and it's been quite a learning curve and I realized quite early on that as much as I love a lot of the Rider Waite Smith inspired decks I didn't want her interpretation or their interpretation should I say of the cards I wanted to go back further to the origins of the cards and to strip the layers of of, of history back if you like when you maybe buy a house and you look at the wallpaper there's been quite a few layers of people who've lived there and put their stamp on it and I wanted to strip back very much like that um, which is why I'm trying to learn the Marseille what a stunning card I mean they are beautiful they are just so beautiful um, so I was kind of overwhelmed by the amount of decks there were um, and like a child in a sweet shop I just didn't, hadn't got a clue where I wanted to go or what decks I wanted to go with and overall I would have to say that my purchases there are very few decks if any actually that I would probably go no I really don't like this I wish I hadn't bought it um, they vary and um, I, like many other people, sorry, I've just got to take a quick sip of drink, probably would like to maybe focus on the indie decks, the ones that are per very much personal before they become mass produced. Um, there is a different kind of energy that comes with those decks. Um, or something like this that, that, that seems to be um, produced by the, 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 the creators. I mean that's beautiful and it is for me the artwork it's the artwork and it's all, but it is also a bit more than that it is the uh, the concept behind it I was watching a couple of videos um, it's one that's quite recently shown and I, I thought the artwork was beautiful um, and for the life of me, I can't remember which one it was, whether I can find it on here, I don't know. Um, but one of the things that I found really interesting was that um, one of the um, one of the ladies that I, I watch and enjoy watching was saying that the um, Foxfire, the Kitsung Oracle, now that would appeal to me. The artwork is absolutely beautiful. Um, and I'm, I think it's Lucy Cavendish. I remember the name. But she was saying that the dragons don't are, are not Eastern dragons, they're Western dragons. And that that has would not have bothered me 
once upon a time when I first started, but it would bother me now more because it then feels as if the the deck has been not created perhaps by the, the, the creator for that wrongly, but that that it's just been mass produced without that little bit of extra historical um, input that would make all the difference. And that that would matter to me now, which probably might not have mattered before. Um, so buying decks, which has gone long winded way around it, for the new year, um, hopefully will be more um, to do with decks that I feel, wow, um, I feel have got some something to impart um, and not just the mass produced ones. That's, yeah. And I've, I'm learning what I like and what I don't like. I'm not a huge fan of collage or uh, photo um, faces. That doesn't necessarily appeal to me. Um, artwork and its um, original creation and th the thoughts behind what an artist would do to create that deck, that matters. So I want to, to build on my Marseille as my foundation, but uh, use that to incorporate other systems to learn um, not to be restricted perhaps um, I will still collect any deck, whether it's Rider weight inspired or anything else, if I think the artwork really appeals to me. And I've been surprised over this year at things that I thought I would not like, that I did like and wanted. And others that I thought, yeah, was I just dragged along because it was popular at the time, everyone was talking about it, was that a deck then that I bought because everybody else had it? And I think that's something I do get swept along with quite quickly. If somebody else has got a deck, I'm like, oh, I would have that deck. If it's talked about a lot, you know, then, yeah, but maybe I need to be more discerning um, and choose decks that I feel have got a call to me. Um, isn't she just beautiful? The artwork. Um, I'm. This this deck was put on my in my journal to work with later in the year. Um, I'm now starting to think it might get. But you know, I I can't spend any more time than I've got on it. Um, hoping to get some study. Work. He got up by himself. Our dog is getting very old, and he struggles to get up and down on onto the bed at night. And he doesn't get on my bed; he gets on my daughter's bed. Um, but he's just managed to get up on the sofa by himself. Ha! So, and my husband said to me, "Stop helping him." He said, "It's better for him if he can do it himself. It gives his boat, you know, gets his muscles working." Oh, isn't she just? gorgeous and look at the owl um yeah and, and again this is partly why i don't do walkthroughs because i don't have much to impact on this deck at the moment because i haven't read and learned about it but then again in some respects perhaps that's also quite nice that there is a neutrality here that i can show the deck and say to anyone, well, you know, this, these are the, the images, they are stunning. You know, is this something that appeals to you without somebody else's slant on it? But I like both. I think reviews are really important, especially book reviews. I'm, I'm all for YouTubers doing book reviews. And yes, it's their perspective, you know, but it does tend to influence you. And the same with cards. I think it's really interesting to know from a person who's worked with a deck, how they have worked with it, what they have found useful or not useful. Um, but equally, the, the walkthroughs are, are great because they are first impressions um, and possibly don't have any, any view. Wow. 
so um as i say i'm going i've got a couple of decks to show this one and a couple of others one's an old deck and one's a new one that i am bursting with excitement for i can't i can't say uh i can't compliment this deck and the authors and the creators of this deck enough because it, it's beautiful i obviously haven't read the book um but if it is anywhere near close to the imagery you are going to um or i am going to be really pleased because it's just lovely and i did have one out of sync that should have been in the red border so i have to but, but that again you know the, there is just so much wealth of talented people out there creating um, the, the artwork to go with these systems. And um, until I've actually read about it, I won't know how this system works in with tarot. But um, I've got the Chrysalis tarot that I want to work with. I've got the Dreams of Gaia uh, tarot that I want to work with. Those are both new systems. And the Mother piece, I want to do uh, justice with that as well. So um, I've made a list of which decks I'm going to be working with when over the coming year, which is really brings me full circle as to why I'm doing a depth year, because I want to work with these decks as opposed to just buying them and putting them to one side. Um, but with the Marseille, you can you can collect those to your heart's content, really, because you're following the Marseille system. So uh, best of both worlds, as far as I can tell. <laughs> anyway, I hope that that small run through has been of some use to those of you who perhaps haven't seen this deck. Although, as I say, there are some really um, probably much better and more detailed walkthroughs. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you stayed with me and uh, look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care. Bye bye.